You cooking up the chicken? Yeah. That's nice. I'm cooking up <laughs> Shroom Mountain, baby. Look at that. Are you feeling shroomy? Yeah, we're feeling shroomy. Are you feeling shroomy? Yeah, we're feeling shroomy. Are you feeling shroomy? We said that already. You're feeling shroomy. I said okay. Shroomy, 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 shroomy. Hi. Uh, welcome to Thursday. It's uh, Thursday. It is Thursday. I was going to say it's clearly already been an interesting day, and I've, I'm at the point of the day in which my mind is just gone. Um, it's been a trying few days, uh, just because the uh, things are starting to get back on track and I've been releasing vlogs and, and getting um, out of all the Arizona stuff, which is good. But right at the, the tail end of Arizona, which has been these incredibly difficult, hard to create vlogs, there's been all of these really lengthy vlogs. The, uh, the Arizona Reflections video was super long, immediately followed up by the Q&A, which was super long. June 1st was okay, but then June 2nd is like this 40 minute explanation of how we do Let's Plays, and that's been all right in one, you know, chunk. And I've been like, man, I need shorter vlogs, please. So hopefully the rest of June will serve me well. But again, you guys are getting this much later, so you're like, what, those things? Oh yeah, I remember that. It's been a while. Uh, we are cooking dinner a little bit later, but we cooked lunch a little bit late too. Um, not as bad as last night though. Um, last night we actually ate much later, I'm pretty sure, so we're getting uh, getting back on track a little bit. And we are having chicken and mushrooms, and for some odd reason, it, it looks like there's more here than there actually is, honestly. Like, it looks like there's a ton of mushrooms, and okay, there is, but there, this is a smaller, uh, a smaller pan than I normally use. And to be honest, I wish I would have used something bigger. But they do, they do shrink down when they cook, so they'll be fine. We're we gonna put Dale's on this. On the mushrooms? No, 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 no. The chicken. Yes. I mean, we could put it on the mushrooms too, if you want. I don't know. Yeah. No. I mean, the mushrooms, in my opinion, are beautiful on their own. They're something that really stands without any sort of sauce because mushrooms create this amazing mushroom liquid. liquid. I was going to say goo, but liquid is a much better choice of word. They create this beautiful mushroom liquid. And if you like mushrooms, then you'll enjoy it. And if you don't, then you're probably not cooking mushrooms in the first place. But we've always, I can't say we've always enjoyed mushrooms. My family has always loved mushrooms. Always. Because when I grew up, my mom is a vegetarian and uh, people don't normally put fish on pizza. She's a pescatarian, she'll eat fish. And so a lot of times we had, if we were doing pizza, we would do mushroom pizza. So I grew up eating that and it's probably, it's probably my favorite pizza topping because of that. But when we got together, you didn't eat mushrooms. No, but now I like them. Is it just because I force fed them to you for so long? <laughs> Eventually you developed mushroom Stockholm syndrome and you decided you couldn't live without them? Yeah, that's one thing about living together and being together with someone else, whether it's roommates or, you know, a relationship or whatever, is that you start to eat different foods. Um, you know, if someone is eating this one thing over and over, you keep trying it and eventually you say, actually, this is okay. And it was like that with Mao and mushrooms. And with me and sushi. Yeah. Because I never used to eat sushi. In fact, I tried it once and I was like, oh my god, this is gross, but you got me into eating sushi. The only thing that I'm really still trying to work on Mao with is black olives. Yeah. I, that's like the last frontier for me. If I can get Mao to eat black olives, then I think I could get her to eat anything. So we finished our meal and finished watching uh, GTA Online, because um, anytime Dan finishes an episode of GTA, finishes editing it, I always watch through it. And we watched through it and we were laughing our, our butts off, so it's it's good. I'm excited for it. And we're going to end off the day in the best, most adult way possible, roasting marshmallows over <laughs> the stovetop to create s'mores. Yes, we are uh, we are almost 30 years old. If you were wondering why I only had half a marshmallow, it's because I don't really like marshmallow that much. So uh, if I can limit it in half, then that's better for me. Mm.
That's a good homemade s'more. I really mean homemade, because it was made in the home. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, meet back tomorrow, shall we?